But the West is especially interesting to me. One, we have a team that is leading the division that is a surprise, the Arizona Diamondbacks. A lot of us felt, and I'm sure possibly you guys felt as well, that they were a team on the rise, that they may be able to do some things, especially under the new rules. They've got a lot of faster players, athletic guys, and the trade that they made with Toronto has worked out great. Moreno behind the plate, Guriel in the outfield or wherever he is playing on a particular day. A lot of good things have happened there. They still don't have for me, or really for anyone else, the pitching, starting pitching in particular, that you would expect of a team that would perhaps be a division winner. They've got Gallon, they've got Kelly, they've got Zach Davies, who's inconsistent, and a number of kids who are going to be good, but maybe are not there yet. Okay, that's the top of the division. Then the Giants are an equally fascinating team because they're kind of turning over their roster in the middle of the season. We've seen Casey Schmidt come up. He's a brilliant defender, had a great offensive start, slowed down a little bit. We've seen Patrick Bailey emerge already as one of the top defensive catchers in the game, also holding his own offensively. And now with Hanager Hurt, here comes Luis Matos playing the outfield. He's an intriguing guy as well. They have starting pitching. Some of it's injured right now, Cobb and Stripling. But are they that good a team? I'm not sure. And then, of course, the Dodgers. And the Dodgers are a hot mess. Their bullpen is unspeakably bad for them, relatively speaking. And they're going to have to fix their pitching. Now, they're getting Urias back at the end of the month. They're getting Daniel Hudson back for the bullpen at the end of the month. That theoretically should stabilize some things. I'm sure they'll do some things as well at the deadline. They, too, have a lot of young pitching in the mix. Two starters right now, Bobby Miller and Emmett Sheehan. So there is a lot that is kind of unsettled there. And we're assuming good health for Kershaw all year, which I don't know that we can assume. And finally, the Padres. The Padres are playing better, and they've got some good things going. And they just won that series from Tampa Bay. But is it going to be enough? Will they be able to put together that charge that we all expect from them still? So that's just the NL West. And then you go to the Central, and all hell is breaking loose. The Reds are on the rise. We've talked about that team quite a bit. And then in the East, the Braves are a pretty clear front runner. So you're looking at the wild cards being quite interesting. 